Wars have consequences. Oil that the U.S. imported from Russia now comes from Venezuela. 400 global companies operating in Russia, like McDonald's and Starbucks, have now closed their doors. Europe builds LNG ports for receiving liquefied natural gas, and the U.S. builds LNG ports for exporting natural gas. And nations like Canada, Australia, have upped their capacity to produce and export food grains. And another shocker is the global jump in the price of uranium used for nuclear power stations. Yes, wars have consequences, and we are just beginning to understand how our future is changing. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has long-term consequences. Nations that were focused on economic growth, international trade, and investment are now focused on national security and defense spending. Globalism is quirky. When the U.S. cut off imports of Russian oil, the replacement was Venezuelan oil. And even Canada can send additional crude oil to America via rail tankers or by the approval of the cancelled Keystone XL pipeline. What is more long-term in its implication is building LNG terminals in Europe for degasifying LNG. There are four under construction currently and another 20 in the planning stages. And in the US and Canada, two LNG export terminals are currently under construction. These projects are highly complex and take two to four years to complete. Of equal economic significance are reports that more than 400 global companies have pulled out of Russia. Some big names include are McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and Starbucks. But a wide range of industrial and financial institutions means a loss of technology and know-how that Russia depends on. It is an amusing story to hear that McDonald's in Russia does not have the same garbage problems of their franchisees in the rest of the world. Russians take their cups, straws, and bags home. But perhaps the greatest tragedy associated with the Russian invasion of the Ukraine is cutting off of Ukraine exports of sunflower oil, wheat, barley, and corn. Over time, nations like Canada and Australia can make most of that loss up. But in the meantime, nations dependent on Ukrainian food will face starvation. The most vulnerable to these food shortages are countries like Egypt, Ethiopia, Lebanon, Yemen, and Palestine. Another global shocker is the jump in world prices for uranium, the fuel used for producing nuclear energy. The big global suppliers are Kazakhstan, Canada, and Australia. But Ukraine is the sixth largest producer globally. It seems Russia wants Ukraine's resources, especially the uranium.